So this question here is probably the hardest question they can ask you on the perpendicular distance and line formula. Uh, it's probably one of the hardest questions they can ask you full stop as well. It's a pretty difficult question. But anyway, we'll go through it and hopefully it'll be clear. So it's asking us to find the equations of the two lines that are parallel to this line here. So 3x minus 4y minus 1 and are three units away from it. So what does that mean? So I've drawn the orange line there, 3x minus 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. It's kind of hard to distinguish between the orange and the yellow, but that's orange. Um, so that's this line here. And the two red lines are the lines they're talking about. So it's we need to find the equations of those two lines, the two red lines that are parallel, this orange one, and they're three units away from it. So that means the distance there is going to be 3, and the distance there is going to be 3. And they should be... Uh, perpendicular distances as well, that line's a little bit squiggly. But you get the idea there? Um, yeah, so that's, it's difficult enough to do basically, it's not the, the easiest question in the world. So the way we're going to solve it, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find uh, the point where this orange axis here, so we find any point, sorry, any point in this orange line at all. Uh, and the easiest one we're going to find is the one where it hits the y axis here, okay? So we're going to find this point there that I've labeled in blue. So what do we know? Uh, about the y-axis, so we know that, I'll say, on y-axis, so this was in one of our last few videos, that x is equal to zero, yeah? So I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say 3x minus 4y minus one is equal to zero, uh, and we have x here is equal to zero, so it's gonna be three by zero minus 4y minus one is equal to zero. So that means if we wanna rearrange this, that y is gonna be equal to minus one over four. Okay, because the x is going to go away. So that means we know one point on the line. We know 0 and minus 1 over 4. So that's where it crosses the x-axis. That's where that blue dot is there. So what does this tell us? This point here, 0 and minus 1 over 4. This is going to be exactly 3 units from this red line and this red line as well. So it's three, 3 units of distance, yeah? And that's how far away it's going to be. It's the same as any other point on this orange line because they're parallel. They won't get closer or further apart. We're going to use this point as a reference point. So now what we need to do is we need to find the two red lines. We need to find the generic form of those two red lines, okay? So hopefully you remember, um, it was on one of the first two videos, how to get the form of any line, say, parallel to this line here, okay? So we know the parallel lines. I'll go bright blue. So what we know about parallel lines parallel lines, the slopes are going to be equal. Slopes equal. So that means the slopes of these red lines are going to be the exact same as the slopes of the orange line, which means the A and the B are going to be the same. Because remember when you have it in this form here, uh, the A and the B dictate the slope. So that means, say, for the red lines, I guess I'll do it in red, they're going to be in the form 3x minus 4y, because that's going to have the exact same slope. And then what's the last one going to be? Uh, it can be anything, basically. So we, we don't know what it is. So we're going to say plus k is equal to 0. Okay? So that form there, depending on what k is, can be that red line or it can be that red line. Does that make sense? So if you want uh, more on that bit, you can go back and watch. I think it was video 1, 2, 3, or 4. It was in one of those videos um, about why exactly that is. All right? So it's going to have the same slope, and it's going to have a different k here, which means it's going to hit the y-axis at a different point. So we're going to use this point here, this point here, and the fact that they're three units away from each other, and we'll be able to find uh, the two equations of the line. So I'll scroll down. Um, so what I say, the points of information are we're going to use this here, this, and d is equal to, no, oh, it's acting up a little bit. Sorry, I have to mess around there to fix it up. Uh, so those are the three pieces of information we're going to use to solve this question, all right? So I'll go down and we'll so we can see all three of those, and I'll start in yellow. So we're going to say that first d is equal to modulus of a x1 plus b y1 plus c divided by the square root of a squared plus b squared. Yeah. So in this case, a is equal to three, b is going to be equal to minus four, and c is equal to K. So we could have used C there, but I'm just going to use K anyway. Um, and we know that D here is equal to 3, and this is our X1, and this is our Y1. Yeah? Um, so with that, we should be able to solve it. So I'll continue in. No, I'll go bright blue. So that means D is going to be equal to A 
which is 3, multiplied by x1, which is 0, plus b, which is minus 4, multiplied by y1, which is minus 1 over 4, plus c, which is plus k, all divided by the square root of 3 squared plus minus 4 squared, yeah? And that's equal to 3. So I'll scroll down and continue with this. So we can drop the D now. We can just uh, solve this one here. So that's going to be equal to minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 over 4. It's just going to be 1. And this is going to be plus K. And this is going to be divided by the square root of 25 is equal to 3. So that means 1 plus K divided by 5 is equal to 3. Scroll down a little bit more. Multiply across by 5, and we're going to get 1 plus k is equal to 15. Does that make sense we got there so far? So now all we have left to do is to get rid of the modulus and to solve for k. So I'm going to draw a line down. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sorry, it's acting up recently. And I'm going to square both sides here. So I'm just going to rewrite it like k plus 1 instead, but it's the same thing as 1 plus k. Squared is equal to 15 squared. So if we square this, we're going to get, oh, what is happening here? Sorry, slight technical problem. Um, but yeah, okay, I'll continue. So what we're going to get here is we're going to get, if we square this, k plus 1 squared is going to be k squared plus 2k plus 1. And 15 squared is going to give us 225. 225. So then k squared plus 2k. If we bring the 225 over, it's going to be minus 224 is equal to zero. So now it's about solving this. You're definitely going to need a calculator for that, uh, unless you can do a sum like that in your head, which would be pretty impressive. Um, so we're going to have k plus 16 and k minus 14. So the way if you want to solve one of those with a calculator is you just keep, either you can use the quadratic formula, but that's quite long, or else you can just keep subbing in uh, different numbers and so keep trying to divide 224 by bigger and bigger numbers until you eventually find two numbers that when you put together you get plus two uh, so you divide by two then three then four then five and keep going up and um, hopefully that's clear anyway and then yeah so once we have our answers here our answers could be k is equal to minus 16 or k is equal to 14 and that's almost question done we just need to write out the final equations um, which are going to be, I'll go yellow, 3x minus 4y minus 16 is equal to 0, or 3x minus 4y plus 14 is equal to 0. Big box around each of those, and there are our answers. So I'll go through that one more time. Go up to the top. Okay, so again, perpendicular distance, line point. So we're looking for the equations of the two lines that are parallel to 3x minus 4y minus 1, which is this orange line here, uh, and the two parallel lines. We're going to find the equations of these two parallel lines, which are these two red ones. Uh, we know that they're three units away from each other. So like I've marked down the diagram, three units. So what we did was we found one point on the orange line by uh, finding where it hit the y-axis. So that point is 0 minus 1 over 4. Then we found the general uh, the general form of this red, these red lines here because they have to have the same slope as the orange one because they're parallel. Yeah, so if they're parallel lines, the slopes are equal. So it's going to be really similar to this one here. It's going to be 3x minus 4y, the same. It's just going to be plus k because that plus k uh, will have an impact on where it hits the y-axis. And we want to find the two numbers for k that mean it's three units away from this line. Uh, and then the last bit of information is a d equal to 3, uh, which they gave us in the question. So then... We basically put all of that into our formula here. So d is equal to ax1 plus by1 plus c, all divided by this. So we have d is equal to 3. We have our coordinates, x1 and y1, which is the uh, blue coordinates there. And then we have the equation of our line, which is this one here. And that's what we're trying to find. Uh, you go through that, you solve for k, and then you find your two answers. So hopefully that's all clear. Uh, if not, I wouldn't like basically try and watch it again. It, I wouldn't be super worried. It's one of the most difficult questions you're going to get asked. So if you know everything besides that, and even if you can give this question a good stab, 
uh, you'll pick up most of the marks along the way. So we'll see you next time for a video about getting the angle between two lines, which is another kind of new thing in the Leave Insert syllabus.